हाउ टू फिक्स वीडियो डी एक्स जी के आर एन एल फोटाल एरर इन विंडोज इलेवन हेलो फ्रेंड्स फॉलो द स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज रन द हार्डवेयर ट्रबल शूटो राइट क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट सिलेक्ट रन कॉपी दिस कमांड फ्रॉम द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड पेस्ट इनटू द रन डायलॉग क्लिक ऑन ओके क्लिक ऑन एडवांस्ड क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट इंटीग्रेटेड कैमरा इज डिसेबल्ड आई डोंट सी माई डिवाइस लिस्टेड सिलेक्ट द ऑप्शन ऑन योर प्रेफरेंस आई एम सिलेक्टिंग हेयर आई डोंट सी माई डिवाइस लिस्टेड Close the troubleshooter and restart your computer. After restarting, check if the BSOD doesn't occur. If the BSOD still occurs, update Windows 11. Click on Start. Select Settings. Go to Windows Update and click on Check for updates. If any update is downloaded, click on Restart here. After a couple of restarts, the update will be installed. The next step is uninstall and reinstall the graphics driver. Right-click on Start, select Device Manager, maximize the window, expand the display adapters by clicking on this arrow. Here you may find Nvidia or Intel or other graphics card. right click on this whichever it is and select uninstall device leave this box unchecked and click on uninstall close the device manager and restart your computer after restarting again open device manager right click on display adapters select scan for hardware changes after an installing and restarting the driver is now automatically installed check if the blue screen error is fixed if you have nvidia graphics card here you can manually download and install in the latest driver of the nvidia graphic card open a browser Type NVIDIA driver download. Press enter. Click on this link. Download the official NVIDIA drivers. Select the product category. If it is from GeForce, select this one. Select the notebook. Choose the driver version. Leave it as Windows 10 64 bit. Select the options depending on your computer. If you are facing trouble in uh, selecting the options, you can uh, click on Search. Type System Information. Click on System Information. Go to Components. in the right side you can find the graphics processor detail after selecting the options click on find click on view from here click on download After downloading is completed, click on the File Explorer icon from the taskbar. Click on Downloads, which is usually the download location for users. This is NVIDIA driver. The drivers are EXE file, so it can be easily installed. Right click on uh, the driver and select Open. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. 
then restart your computer the issue should be fixed now if uh, it is not fixed then run the system files checkers click on search type cmd select run as administrator copy sfc scan now from the description paste into the command prompt and hit enter After complete it, run the DISM restore health command. Copy the command, paste into the command prompt, and press enter. Once completed, close the command prompt and close all other running tasks and restart your computer. Turn off the fast startup. Click on search. Click on control panel. Go to power options. Click on this link. Choose what the power button does. Click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Uncheck turn on fast startup recommended. Click on save changes and restart your computer. Run the memory diagnostic tool. Click on search. Type memory. Click on Windows memory diagnostic. Restart now and check for problems recommended. This will restart your system and check for memory. After memory is completely checked and you are on desktop, click on this icon to open system tray and find the log file here. Log file explains the current situation of memory. If any suggestions are given, follow them. To fix your memory, check for malware. If the VSOD still persists, then there might be malware that are triggering the issue. Click on start, select settings. Go to privacy and security. Click on Windows security. Over here, click on virus and threat protection. Select scan options. Check the full scan option and click on scan now. Once the scanning is completed, you will receive a notification. If any threat is found, you will be guided how to delete the threat in the notification. Follow them carefully and then restart your computer. Perform system restore. Click on search. Type restore. Click on create a restore point. Select system restore. Click on next, check the box show more restore points, check a date and time before the error started appearing and click on next. Click on finish, here click on yes. That's all friends, thanks for watching the video.